Okay, this is a little uh, magic tool uh, tutorial. So the magic tool comes in five different sizes. This is the medium size. So what we do is we take a CDC hackle, hold it by the tip, we pull all the fibres out so they're 90 degrees to the stem. Then we take this on top like this and we push the thick end in first until it clicks. Both ends are in. So we take our scissors and we cut these off. This is important otherwise the fibres get caught in the spring. Then we take our clip, place this on top, release the bottom and then we have a parallel stem. You need long straight scissors for this. If you don't use long straight scissors what happens is you cut and then you cut again, cut again and it's stepped. So you want one nice clean cut to give you uh, a nice even material to work with. But what is also good about the magic clip, in the old days we used bulldog clips, uh, the old paper clips, but with this you can see how the actual material is behaving through the plastic. Very important. So if you want to do multiple hackles, what you do is you take your first one again, you pull this out, place this down, again this on top and you can of course you don't have to mix colours but you can if you need a heavier hackle you can use all the same colour so we put these in and we have to pick them all up at the same time grip the ends up here thick ends in first again trim off trim off Clip on and trim everything off. Oops. There we are. That'll give you a lovely thick CDC dubbing. This is uh, another one, this is with dubbing. So we take a little bit of ice dubbing. Put this up on the clip first. I'm going to use two CDC hackles here. So we do the same again. Take both the hackles, put them on top of the dubbing, pull them in, trim off the edges, take our clip. Put this on the CDC, trim away the stems and we have a mixture of ice dubbing, trim off those long ones, ice dubbing and CDC, but excellent for both wings and if you want a sparkle wing and for nymph bodies. So then we have the micro magic tool which is the smallest of the family. This is ideal for smaller hackles. So if you take a partridge hackle, strip off the downy parts, try and get it level, like so. Then we hold the tip and again we pull the fibres out to 90 degrees and we place this in the magic tool again, the thick side down first you can arrange these fibres a little bit even use a brush just to get them straight.
cut off the sides, put the clip on. And there's your partridge fibres. Very nice for nymphs and dry flies. So we're over to the magnum clip now, which is the largest one. I'll show you a few tricks with this. I wish to use just marabou. Again, by the tip. Press down the thick side first. Trim those off. Take the big clip. Long straight scissors again. And you can spin your marabou there into a dubbing loop. So what you can do Take a little bit of your chosen material Trim this off Try and distribute it as good as you can that will do us. Take your larger hackle. Pull it in. Cut off the ends. Take your big clip, place that on, scissors, and then you have a clip with marabou and your chosen flash material. And this is also a nifty little trick if you're doing wings, if you want a, a bunch of CDC. So you place your hackles again on top of each other, press them into the magic tool, trim off the ends, place them in the clip, trim off the stems. So then you take the magic tool stacker it's got a little blade in there that you place in between the two jaws of the clip and you have to use your thumb as a stopper at the bottom. So place those in and we push everything down towards your thumb. Release and there you have a bunch of CDC that you can tie in as a wing. Another excellent one is if you want to make a fur hackle clip onto a zonker strip or a cross cut strip, scissors along the strip and there's your fur hackle. This is another nice trick, this is mixing CDC with deer hair or other furs, so your chosen CDC hackles in a clip. Put those in, trim off, that's one ready. Then what we do is we take some deer hair, that's enough. Just open that out like that, put our clip on. Fold it over, put 
trim it off. Now what we want though is we want the CDC hackle point with the deer hair points and the problem is to get these two working together. So what we have to do now is put these two down, I'll try and show you that way, like so. We take a third clip, like so, and we grab both of them, move the CDC and the deer hair. And there we have deer hair and CDC mixed, ready to go into a, a dubbing lip. Then what you, what you have to do then, if you want it the other way around, is you place another clip on, put that in there, trim the ends level, and there you have deer hair and CDC mix. I'll show you how to uh, make a real quick deer hair and CDC caddis with the magic clip. So we firstly take our tine thread and we spin our bobbin anti-clockwise. This will give your thread a flat profile. So we just take our dubbing needle like this, we split the thread, open it up, keep it open with your finger. There's the CDC and deer hair in one clip. That one. So we put the whole clip in between the dubbing loop and then we slide it out. It's best if you rest your fingers on the vise or your hands on the vise just to keep everything steady. Keep your tying thread tight and then we spin clockwise and then we can help it along for the first open spin. Spin it again. There we are. You can see the CDC and the deer hair have mixed nicely there. You can just give it a brush to release any trap fibres, any loose fibres. There we are. And then we can start rotating the vise going forward as we go and then when you get to about there start pulling the fibres up as we go forward Finish tool. Give it a quick finish. Remove the tying thread. Another brush just to open all the fibres out again. And we want our scissors. And we make a cut underneath. Straight across the bottom. And you can, if you wish, trim off at the back. There we are. There's the deer and CDC caddies. Very quick fly to tie. If you enjoy the videos, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.